Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We have a session coming up. All you should know about a premium eye ulcer. I think whatever good surgery you have done, I think the patient is going to see through the eye you have put it in, in the correct power. So this is very important to select the right kind of eye oil uh, and uh, how to counsel the patient. We are going to have the first uh, speaker, Dr. Chandra Gan, uh, he is speaking on patient selection and counseling for premium eye oils. Dr. Chandra Gan, please. Good afternoon, everyone. The topic is uh, patient selection and counseling for premium eye oils. I'll be uh, uh, general, uh, passing uh, general comments only. I'll be not uh, going to specificities of uh, each eye oils, be it uh, Tori, Kido, uh, because I think that will be spelled by, uh, spoken by other people. <clears throat> nice. Things to focus during your counseling, explaining the surgery and what to be expected after surgery. Then discuss the benefits of cataract surgery. Manage patient expectations. Address any patient concerns. And of course, provide post-operative instructions. In, that, in this aspect, I would like to uh, 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 divide my talk into points to focus during counseling and uh, what is right for whom patient selection criteria. Points to focus during counseling. Explain surgery and what to be expected after surgery. Explain the procedure and what they can expect before, during, and after surgery. Provide with a clear understanding of what the surgery involves, how, we, how long it takes, and what they can expect in terms of recovery time. Patients should be made aware of any potential risk and complications associated with the procedure. But here you'll have to be careful that uh, you don't, uh, don't have to open your mouth saying that the, the, the data complications like retinal detachment, end of time, span of time, such things and all should be uh, uh, handled very carefully. Explaining surgery and what to be expected after surgery. What to do if they experience any issues in the due course of the surgery. The benefit case, discuss the benefits of the surgery. Patients who have cataract often experience significant vision loss which can impact their daily activities and quality of life. Cataract surgery can improve and reduce the risk of falls and other accidents, making it an important procedure for many patients. By discussing the benefits of surgery, it can help patients feel more confident in their decision to move forward with the procedure. Then next you have to manage the patient expectations. While surgery can improve vision significantly, it is important to explain that patients may still need glasses or contact lenses and any other procedures 
after surgery for a better visual rehabilitation. Of course, discuss the different types of intraocular lenses available in the market and help, you, help them to choose the one that is best suited for their uh, uh, daily needs and uh, lifestyle activities. By setting realistically existing expectations, you can help patients avoid disappointment and frustration and uh, they can be a good uh, ideal candidate for your surgical procedure. Then the important thing is to address the patient concerns. It is important to address the concerns and answer any questions they may have. Patients may be worried about the pain, the length of recovery process or the, of course, the cost of the procedure. Addressing these concerns can help patients feel more comfortable and confident in their decision to have cataract surgery. Provide post-operative instructions. It is important to provide patients with detailed post-operative instructions to help them manage their recovery. Information how to take care of their eyes, scheduling the follow-up appointments and experience any complications. By providing clear instructions, you can help patients recover more quickly and avoid any potential challenges and build a better ophthalmologist and a patient relationship. <clears throat> now the next uh, division that is the, what is right for whom patient selection criteria. This depends on the patient's personality, the near far wherever you go, the value determination, preoperative refractive errors, young patients, ocular comorbidities and previous refractive surgery. Selecting the most important implant for a patient can sometimes feel like a, a make, a, a, being a, a making a, a match uh, uh, maker. While the patient loves the lens you recommend for years to come, will the lens enrich their life and support them in uh, activities they love? Cattle surgeons, uh, cattle surgeons say this process begins with a thorough conversation with the patient and uh, here at the end, the IOL selection process becomes easier for the surgeon will come to know uh, what best uh, IOL these patients options are. Coming to the patient personality, personality matters best. Uh, here, uh, how will the patient tolerate photogen phenomenon or will he be willing to sacrifice some quality of uh, uh, vision in uh, exchange for a spectacle independence? There could be easygoing patients, there could be demanding patients. Each type of these patients should be taken care of individually and the expectations are uh, uh, taken into account before you uh, decide to implant an in, uh, intraocular lens. Near, far, wherever you are, the patient's visual goals are key for selecting the appropriate optics. Prior 